Hi, my name is Shubo Deli, and this is my public access television show. This is the cinema with Shubo Deli. And the reason I call it that is because I've always heard the phrase, you know, my life's a movie, and I think that's a little self-centered, because life is just one big movie and we're all playing a small part. I'm not really sure what to say about the show, you know, it's going to be things I see and places I travel and things I find interesting, and I hope you stay along for the ride. Anyways, let's go ahead and start the show. Cause this is the sound of my show. Grab a carton of orange juice and pour yourself a glass as we embark on this citrine adventure. Or just use your imagination. Fragrant orange blossoms fill the air with their sweet aromas, and the sun's heat warms your soul and clears your mind. We're visiting Indian River County, Florida, where over half of the world's oranges and grapefruits and countless other unnamed and unknown species of citrus fruit were once produced. The industry was most lively during the spring and summer months and decades gone by. While today we can only imagine and drink our juice from concentrate, the spirit of fresh fruit juice lives on right here. In this, one of the many abandoned citrus packing warehouses that litter and haunt Indian River and St. Lucie's counties. These buildings are a reminder of what was once the largest citrus growing area in the world. So what happened to bring this booming industry to a halt? With production cut nearly 75% due to an insect-borne bacterial disease called citrus greening disease. The disease wreaked havoc on the crops nearly killing the industry in Florida and the greater United States. The specific warehouse we're visiting today belongs to the Graves Brothers Company, which was founded in 1895 by a pair of brothers who rose from the grave. It began as a lumber processing warehouse, but they quickly expanded into citrus, because of course they would, we're in Florida. Today, over 46,000 days later, the company still plants, picks, and packs countless citrus fruits every day, just not at this location. Fruits are ripe for fresh squeezing and others perhaps ready to be crated and shipped across the land to be turned into delectable orange juice from concentrate. This making them the oldest continuously family-owned business within Indian River County. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside, because some kind person already busted open the window, so I couldn't help myself. It seems like people might actually still be using this building for storage. As you can see from the political signs in the store over there, the filing cabinet and what appears to be other bu building materials and tools. So 
So really, this is just a highly detailed accounting of a crime I committed. But at least I didn't break the window myself. I was gonna keep going up, but I was afraid because there was a lot of loose wires and I didn't want to get electrocuted. So I decided to just put my camera out there and take a look around. One thing you need to know about going to abandoned places is that you might encounter interlopers. People along your journey who are going to want to stop you from accomplishing your end goal. So it's always good to carry some kind of heavy machinery to beat them over the head with. Or possibly a firearm. Or poison darts. Is poison darts cultural appropriation? I'm not sure. I'm Brazilian, so... Technically, probably not. This right here, well, Pretty shabby now is actually reserved parking for the executives that would have came to the plant, with their nameplates still being there so we can steal their identity. One thing I've noticed about companies is they always have an executive whose name is reserved. Maybe it's the same guy. The final place to view in any warehouse is the warehouse, of course. So, that's what we tried to do. I was able to successfully get into the office because somebody had busted a window in, but unfortunately I don't think it was the same for the warehouse. I was able to stick my phone down in a crack and get a little video for you guys, though. Because if there's anything you know about Shubro Deli, I've always got to get an insider look. It's pretty crazy to think about the countless lives and people that worked in these places. And what was once the greatest and largest industry in Florida. Now, not so much. And every passing day it seems like it's harder and harder to find citrus places like this. You know, as a kid I would always be able to go to one and get ice cream right by my house and now they're gone. And that's just the way things are, you know? film comes to a close, and that's that. No more orange juice, just from Concentrate. Well, this is Shu Brodelli, and this is The Cinema. Goodbye.